needs help styling those over the knee boots. Do you? Today I'm going to show you three ways to wear those sexy boots. Ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you three ways to wear over-the-knee boots. Over-the-knee boots are still going strong. I feel like it's been happening for a decade. Like I feel like over-the-knee boots have been on trend for a decade. I remember buying my first pair back in like 2006 or 2005. That's well over a decade ago. And you know what? They're not showing any signs of slowing down. So a lot of you had asked about styling them and I thought it would be worthwhile to do a video to show you some options. This year, I did do a video last year styling your over-the-knee boots a few ways, and I will put a link to that below in the description box. So if you want even more ideas, there's going to be more um, in that video as well. Before we dive into the looks, I just want to say over-the-knee boots are very sexy. I did just do a video on ways to dress sexy at any age, and I did not mention over-the-knee boots. I feel like over-the-knee boots are definitely a great addition to that video. By the way, if you missed that video, I'll put a link to it below. But if you want to dress in a way that's sexy but also age appropriate, I feel like this is a great way to go about it as long as you style them tastefully and you don't take it too far. Because let's face it, they do walk that fine line between classy and trashy. So I'm going to show you three ways that you can style them that will definitely keep you on the, uh, the classy side. The first two looks I'm going to show you are on the casual side and then the last one is dressier. They're all pretty dressy just because of the nature of the boots. They're inherently sexy and dressy. So just something to think about. It's all basically elevated casual or on that level. The first look is a off-white turtleneck, a very lightweight off-white turtleneck that's great for layering underneath a long gray cashmere cardigan. And I love the way that the cardigan really downplays the sexiness of the boots. So you still have your legs peeping out with that over-the-knee boot that creates that very sexy look, but then the cardigan kind of brings it down a notch and makes it much more wearable for daytime or for whatever function you may have going on in your life. And I feel like this, again, is the most versatile, most wearable, easiest, fail-safe outfit option for those over-the-knee boots. I paired them with some dark wash skinny jeans. Notice they're pretty dark. There's no fading. There's no distressing. That's going to keep the line looking longer. And also, again, just keeping it the overall look a little bit more polished and sophisticated. I feel like when you start doing like a lighter jean or a light blue jean that creates more contrast in the look and it sort of chops up the line a bit more. So I would go with the dark wash jean, not necessarily black because you still want to see the boots. You don't want them to totally blend and that's why I strategically picked the dark blue. Look number two is a bit more sporty, also casual, also very wearable, not quite as versatile as the first one, but it's just a black top. This is a very sporty top with the racing stripes at the neck and at the sleeve. This one's by JOA and it has the zip at the top, but you can easily swap this top for whatever black top that you have in your closet, whether that's a black crew neck sweater, whether it's a black turtleneck, whether it's a black bow blouse, whether it's a black sheer blouse, whatever you have in your closet already, you can easily pull that out and recreate the same exact look. It might have a slightly different feel, but it's the same overall concept. So that sporty black top or that black top or black blouse with the dark wash skinny jeans and the over the knee boots. These over the knee boots, by the way, are by Stuart Weitzman and the style is called elevated so they do have like a two inch heel it's not the complete flat like the lowland boots it's got a little bit of a heel but it still feels like a very wearable manageable functional heel it's not a crazy heel at all and of course the chunky heel makes them so much easier to walk in and the other thing I like about this heel style is that if it were more of a traditional heel like a stiletto or um, a real high heel that creates an even sexier look. When you want to make these boots more wearable, do opt for a pair that's either a pair of flats or has a chunky heel like the boots that I'm showing you here. The elevated Stuart Weitzman's, they do stay up. There's a couple of times throughout the day where I may have to adjust them, but they do stay up. And I do find that the Stuart Weitzman's stay up 
much, much better than any kind of dupe. So unfortunately, I used to have a Steve Madden pair. I got rid of them because they were just, to me, that was too annoying to have to yank them up all day. So it's just something to think about. It might be worth investing a bit more in this style of boot if you're really drawn to this style in order to have them stay up because otherwise you're gonna deal with the, the yanking all day. At least that's what I've found with the dupes of the over the knee boots. There are plenty of over the knee boots that aren't necessarily this high and you can go that route where they're just like slightly over the knee and they stay up a little bit better that could be an option too and i'll put a couple suggestions below in the box for you guys but the stewart weitzman elevated are incredibly comfortable i really love them the last look i wanted to show you is something a little bit dressier and i wanted to show you these boots with a dress because i felt like that was an important thing to show everybody so this is a sweater dress it's by free people it has long sleeves it has a turtleneck it's a very fitted dress but not super fitted more body skimming versus body uh, hugging and so i feel like it does have coverage and forgiveness which sort of down plays the sexy a little bit but it is on the shorter side so then that does create more of a sexy feel if you wanted to downplay that even more make it even more conservative you could easily do tights with this and it would create a longer line and it would also maybe make you feel more comfortable if you're feeling like this is a little too risque for you but another option would might be like a floral skirt a pleated skirt i would probably not do a midi length skirt or a maxi length skirt with these boots because it sort of defeats the whole purpose of wearing the boots in the first place you want to show these off because they're so cool and edgy and modern and and sexy so i would go with something that is a little bit on the shorter side you know maybe just past mid thigh somewhere between mid thigh and just past the knee and then that way you're really getting that look of the boot and that's something to think about too like if you're wearing these boots you really want to show them off don't wear something super long dress or skirt wise because then you're just covering them up i did want to give you that one dress option but again just pull out a dress you have in your closet already maybe you have a little black dress that you have that is on the shorter side that you can wear with these boots and it's gonna look amazing. One note about tights, and I'll probably talk about these more coming up, but with tights this season, I really prefer to wear a slightly sheer tight with a pattern. I like pattern tights so much. I feel like they're just so cool and so lovely and they add so much pop to your look, but without breaking up the line. And then the sheerness will create contrast. So if you do have a cool pair of boots on, you can still see the boots which is what you want. Because if you wear that super thick, dark black tight or legging, again, what's the point of the boots? Like you might as well just wear the legging all the way down and then wear a cute little ankle booty and call it a day. Like if you're gonna wear killer boots, make sure you let them shine. That's the whole point of the over the knee boot. Let them shine. The outfit is built around those boots and not the other way around. So I hope that helps you guys, gives you some ideas of those over the knee boots. I'll put links to everything that I featured below in the description box if you're interested, but if not, just recreate the same looks with pieces you already have in your closet. Easy enough to do with these basics, I feel like. And if you don't already have your wardrobe basics or maybe you're not sure if you have those wardrobe basics, I do give out free wardrobe basics checklists with my email newsletter subscription. So be sure to click on that link below in the box so that you can subscribe to the newsletter and then you get those freebies sent to your inbox. Do not forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, of course, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Just comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye.